be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, basically what I'm going to be covering is a simple way to make your 808 and kick stand out in the mix. Okay, so I'm going to let you hear just a little bit of this uh, beat and then we'll talk about what, I'm new, what you can do to make your 808 and your kick stand out in the mix better. So let's first talk about the 808. We'll talk about this uh, R bass plugin. Basically, it's a plugin you can get from Waves. Um, you know, first time I heard about this plugin was from Super Superstar O. Um, it was a dope plugin. I've been using it for years, and it, I feel like this is a, a super fire plugin to put on your bass. The main thing I want to talk about is like when you put it on there. Um, this is how it's gonna originally look, you know what I mean? So it's gonna be dead center right over here at 80 hertz or freak, the frequency 80. And then um, the intensity is gonna be up to nominal gain. I found that it's better if you turn the intensity down on it just because it can be overwhelming as far as the actual bass on it. So that's pretty much what I did over here. Um, I'll turn it down to 72 and I'll turn this down to negative 8. Now let's just check that uh, check out how this sounds. Without it One more time with it. For me personally, I can hear a big difference. And again, you know, the whole tip with it, it's not just putting that plug in on there, but making sure you turn the intensity down just a little bit and then kind of play around with the frequency range here or where you want it to like kind of boost. Um, if you really look at things, this is the uh, frequency range of hearing anywhere from 20 hertz all the way to 20K. And uh, most of the time, your 808s are going to be hitting. And that's why, you know, with the R bass, it has it at this uh, 80 hertz is because most of the time, you know, that's going to be your peak part or peak point in your, uh, you know, 808s. You kind of see right here. Right around at 80 hertz. So I try to keep it anywhere between like 60 and 80 hertz when I'm, you know, moving this around and then like the intensity kind of down next thing we'll talk about is the kick sometimes I don't put the uh, you know um, our base on the kick but sometimes I do sometimes like say if the kick is coming in a little bit too thin you can put that our base on it and it will actually make that kick thump a little bit more let's just listen to it without anything so it sounds decent but when you put that our base on it Without it, with it. And then another thing I do um, sometimes is just go ahead and EQ it, but not in a way that you would think when we're just going in here and surgically EQing the uh, kick. I like to like look at things like try to use the raw form of everything before you try to, you know, doctor it up. But I will go over here and just just take a little bit off on the uh, between 20 and 30 hertz. Most people can't even hear, you know, below like 40 or 30 hertz anyway. So I sometimes will come over there and just take that out. Last thing we'll talk about is smack attack. Um, basically, this plug in will help things pop out in the mix for sure. If you turn the attack up a little bit, it tends to go ahead and make it a little bit more punchier, um, sharper sounding in the mix and in this this uh, sustain if you turn it to the left it will make the uh, sound a lot more tighter um and a lot more like shorter boom 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 you know what i'm saying like that compared to if you push it to the right it's gonna extend it 
You know what I'm saying? So that's that's another thing you can do is put this uh, smack attack on there. You can put it on as, as high or low as, as you want to. This is all based on the mix. Anyway, y'all, appreciate you watching. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel. We drop videos like this every week. And uh, leave, leave in the comment section below, like what tips that you want to hear, whether it be, you know, EQing tips, um, plugins, mixing, making beats, you know, the channel is dedicated towards beginner level producers. Obviously, if you're a more expert level producer or an intermediate level producer, you can get a lot from the channel as well, because, you know, we do cover some more advanced stuff. But whole purpose is trying to find ways to teach people the fundamentals of music production in a simple and easy to understand way. That's the whole purpose of this channel. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you get subscribed if you're brand new, even if you're just not brand new to music production, but brand new to logic, you know, that's a big thing here is, you know, you know drop it knowledge on how to, you know, operate in within logic pro and everything like that. You can check out my courses on my site as well. Be making and without further ado, we're out. Thank you.